Sakira's story. A car has crashed into the gates of Buckingham Palace with armed police arresting the driver. Police rushed to the palace in the early hours of yesterday morning after reports of a loud bang. But the Met Police didn't release a statement about the incident and only commented when contacted by the media saying a man had been arrested on suspicious of criminal damage. Hmm. Our Royal Correspondent Cameron Walker has more. We understand the gates were damaged and social media footage or images shows armed police swooping uh, on the car. We know that the individual driving the car was arrested. The gates are also being repaired as well. What we don't know is the exact circumstances as to why the car crashed into those those gates. We haven't been given any details of a motive um, by police um, or indeed whether or not it was accidental. Metropolitan Police perhaps will give us more details later on today but as i said no members of the royal family were in residence so hopefully the only thing that is damaged is indeed the gates which of course are being hastily repaired it's a curious one uh, joining me now is royal commentator and friend of the show the very lovely jenny bond jenny thank you with a gorgeous living room there jenny thank you so much for joining us this afternoon Jenny, um, this incident happened in the early hours of Saturday morning, but there was no statement made until today. What, what do you make of this? Well, it's a bit odd, yeah. 36 hours on now we're talking about it, and I had no idea it would happen. Mm. Um, I must admit, um, you guys contacted me about a, a car crash at the palace. I said, what? I didn't know anything about it. Um, I don't know why they didn't release any details. As Cameron said, there was no danger to any of the royal family so perhaps they didn't regard it as that serious it's not the first time it's happened it won't be the last cars have crashed into those gates before this car did a particularly good number on the gates obviously um people have uh, naked men have abseiled down onto the roof of the okay. palace we've had michael fagan on the in the late queen's bedroom 40 years ago so these security lapses happen uh, but why we weren't told about it is a mystery it's interesting. I mean, it is actually quite, given the traffic set up around Buckingham Palace, it's actually quite difficult to drive into the gates accidentally. And obviously, we're all very, very twitchy about the terrorism threat. And then we had the, the pro-Palestine march on the same day. I mean, lots of people are putting two and two together and coming up with five, potentially six, aren't they? Yeah, more conspiracy theories. Yes, let's not go there. Um, all we know is that some, a man, for some reason, crashed into the gates, did a lot of damage and is under arrest. And any more, we, we really don't know. We can't say because he's under arrest. But there is another story today that I want to talk to you about, Jenny. Um, the palace have issued today a beautiful picture of the Princess of Wales, um, Catherine, um, taken by uh, um, William and issued for Mother's Day. Um, it, it looks lovely. And this is the first we've seen or heard of uh, um, Catherine since she went in for surgery, isn't it? Well, apart from the paparazzi picture that was taken earlier this week, obviously wasn't published in this country, but no. was quite available on the internet. Um, and that showed showed that you know she was with her mum and apparently on the school run. But now we see her in uh, a traditional um, posting. Each year they post on Mother's Day a picture with uh, children and, and Catherine together. And, yeah, my first reaction was, phew, goodness me, she looks fine. Um, and it's a full-length picture. Otherwise, we'll probably have other conspiracy theories that she had you know, her legs chopped off or something. Um, you know, she, she looks fine. She's got all her limbs. She's wearing quite a tight pair of jeans, which after abdominal surgery suggests that, you know, she's, she's feeling a bit more comfortable. She looks happy. The kids look relaxed. So um, it, it is a relief to see that picture. No, it is nice because the whole world and his wife are asking, where is Kate? What's happened to Kate, etc. Lots of conspiracy theories. Just, just one quick one. Quickly, Jenny, she's not wearing her wedding rings. Any thoughts? <laughs> Did she not? Oh, my God. Here we go again. I didn't look that closely. Oh, goodness me. I have no idea why. Perhaps she just, uh, I don't know, perhaps she'd done the washing up and left it on the side of the sink. <laughs> I'm sure that's the case. Jenny Bond, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I'm Dawn Neeson. This is GB News Sunday.